Hey guys, it's Science Made Easier, and today I am going to show you how to find the wavelength or frequency when given the other. So let's start by looking at this triangle equation and defining the variables real quick. So C is your speed of light. This is a constant. It will never change. It will always be 3.0 times 10 to the 8. V is your frequency, which is represented in hertz or seconds to the minus 1. Lambda is your wavelength, and it can either be in meters or nanometers. It is usually in nanometers, though. So using this equation, you can substitute whatever you're given in that problem and find whatever you're not given. So let's try it in a problem. So let's say you have this problem. Light with a frequency of 7.26 times 10 to the 14th hertz lies in the violent region of the visible spectrum. What is the wavelength of this frequency of light? So we're looking for wavelength. So let's go back and look at the equation real quick. So if we're looking for lambda, which is wavelength, we have C over V. So we're going to divide the speed of light by our frequency. So let's go back to this problem real quick. So since we know what we're doing now, Let's actually do it. So we're going to divide the speed of light by our frequency that we were given. So the speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the 8th. And we're going to divide that by our frequency, 7.26 times 10 to the 14th. And that leaves us with 4.13 times 10 to the negative seventh. So since I said that nanometers is what it's usually in, we're gonna convert from meters to nanometers. So all we have to do to convert from meters to nanometers is multiply by the conversion factor. So 4.13 times 10 to the negative seventh times the conversion factor, which is 10 to the ninth nanometers over one meter, which will give you 413 nanometers. So let's try another problem. So say you have this problem. Calculate the wavelength of radiation with a frequency of 5.00 times 10 to the 14th seconds to the minus one. So seconds to the minus one is the same thing as hertz, so you can just kind of disregard that. We're finding wavelength once again, so it is the speed of light divided by your frequency. So let's do that. So three times 10 to the eighth divided by your frequency, 5.00 times 10 to the 14th. And that's going to leave you with 6.0 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. So we're going to convert to nanometers again since that's what it's usually wanting anyway. So the same conversion factor. So 6.0 times 10 to the negative seventh times 10 to the ninth nanometers over one meter, and that's going to leave you with 600 nanometers. That's it for this video. If it helped, please show a little support for my channel by leaving a like. Thanks, guys.